We made some mistakes. They took advantage of them. And uh, they were the team that deserved to win today. Uh, you know, we need to, uh, we need to regroup uh, for a short turnaround um, as Towson's coming up on Saturday. And we need to, uh, need to get back to, to, to doing things the way that we want to do them more of the time. I'm not saying that we didn't have effort. Uh, we had effort, um, but they made some plays. They got ahead of us nine, four at the half. And, uh, we needed to, uh, we needed, we dug ourselves a little, a little bit too big of a hole. So, um, we'll get back at it tomorrow. Questions? Uh, uh, Coach, I just want to ask, you know, this is your first game without Alex Kincannon. Uh, you got guys like Colton Rudd, Bryce Tomey. We saw Tomey got two big goals against Fairfield. He has another one today. What did you think of the offense in his place? Yeah, I mean, listen, Alex got banged up and, uh, you know, Bryce Tomey stepped up in the Fairfield game. He had a big goal for us today. Um, Colton Rudd, uh, <laughs> he, had, he had two goals for us today. Um, did a good job. We actually – put Justin Linsky where Alex Kincannon would be and then put Colton Rudd to where Justin Linsky would be. Uh, Justin did a good job and had, uh, you know, he had a couple of goals and a couple of assists for us today. And, uh, you know, those guys, they played hard. You know, they, they obviously keen in on, on Ryan. They were sliding early. They were double teaming him. They were getting after him. And, uh, you know, Ryan got his shots off and, uh, you know, a couple didn't fall today. You know, then he banged in two for us late that, that got us a chance. Um, but then certainly some penalties uh, just kind of gave them the ball at the end. And we just, uh, we started to run out of time. Hi coach, Jerry Briggs Davis from the Hofstra, uh, from the Hofstra Chronicle. You mentioned mistakes. What do you feel was the biggest mistake today by your team? Yeah. I mean, I, I just think that there was, we had some, uh, we had some turnovers in the first half that allowed them to get out to a, you know, to a five goal lead. Um, <laughs> excuse me. And there were times where we didn't take advantage of it, you know, man up wise, we were over three. Uh, we need to be able to, to, uh, you know, be a little bit better than that. Um, and, uh, and we just had some, we had some turnovers that, that were things were going in our way. Um, and then there was some scenarios where we got, we got caught penalizing some, some, in some plays at some bad times where they just gave them chunks of time. And, uh, and, and we, have, you know, we, we, have, we had to learn that lesson the hard way. So uh, I don't think we were great off the ground today. Um, you know, UMass out ground balled us by nine and, and we, you know, we, we, we did a, a decent job facing off. So that means there was just a, 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 you know, they were getting after the ground balls and a ground ball just means time. It means an opportunity and time. It doesn't mean just one ground ball stat. And those guys picked up, you know, nine more than us. Uh, you lose by six, they pick up nine more ground balls. We got to switch that around a little bit. Hey, Coach Cheney, Jack McCarthy from WRHU here. You got uh, Dylan McIntosh back last game. What's it like to have a guy like him in the lineup and how much confidence does he give your offensive attack? Yeah, I mean, listen, we need, you know, DMAC has, He's an unbelievable worker. He's an unbelievable person. Um, he's been through some tough things injury wise with a jaw and an ACL, uh, an ACL times COVID, you know, he didn't have, he had, he had to be home. So the rehab was, was a little bit different. And finally he got back out there last week. He was cleared for the first time we were supposed to play Towson. And then, uh, you know, COVID got us a little bit. So he was edging to get back you know, in our Fairfield game and, and he had a bunch of shots and uh, you know, we're just, we're, we, we know, we know what we get with DMAC and uh, you know, things will start to drop for him in the games to come. There's no getting around it. He's uh, he's doing a good job. Um, and I just, I, I wish he would be able to break that seal so he can just exhale and play. Coach, on the note of injury, you have Bobby Casey come back last game. He's, he looked pretty good today. Is there still obviously some rust for him to kick off? Do you think he's, getting ready to that point where he might go right back to where he was before he got banged up. Yeah. I mean, listen, I thought he played well against Fairfield. I thought he made some pretty good saves today. Um, 
you know, uh, he, he didn't get have many saves in the second half there. And uh, we got to do a better job of protecting him, uh, you know, in the game. And uh, they got a couple of hands free looks, uh, you know, certainly. Devin Spencer, you know, he's a guy that can put the ball on your stick, number three for UMass, and, um, and, and he, makes it, he makes it go a little bit. Uh, and those guys, they, they did a good job around him of getting some pretty quality shots, hands-free step-downs with some heat, and they put the ball on the goal. So we're hopeful uh, every game that Bobby plays that he's, you know, uh, another, again, it's his second game this year after a pretty long break. Um, so it, we're, we're getting there little by little. Coach Tierney, uh, when do you expect Alex Kincaid to, to come back and help out the attack group? Yeah, I'm, I'm, the, the trainer keeps me updated every day. Uh, there wasn't, you know, he wasn't going to play today. Uh, we're going to now, you know, we'll reevaluate the next two days. Um, you know, and I told the trainer, I'll speak to you on, there's no need for him to practice tomorrow or Thursday. Um, let's speak on, on Friday and see what he's capable of doing. Um, and, uh, and then we go from there. So we'll see how, how it progresses and hopefully we'll have him back for Towson. Uh, second game in a row coach, you guys have gotten off to a slow start. Does that have anything to do with your offensive attack or the, the package that the other teams are going up against you? Yeah, I, you know, it, it's certainly a good question. And I understand why you ask it, uh, you know, the, 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 the issue that I have is like in the Fairfield game, we win the first face off and it, the ball is in our stick and we turn it over. Um, if we don't turn it over, then do we start off slow, right? We didn't play well in the first quarter versus Fairfield. We're only down two one and we ended up, you know, flipping the script a little bit in the last three quarters, you know, today going down four, two, um, you know, a little bit of a little bit of an issue <coughs> uh, of just putting the ball away early. Um, those guys getting after us, and, and taking two, two punches at us where they scored two quick goals right away. Um, and and we, we, need to, we, we need to be a little bit more ready to go. Uh, I'll take that one and, and, and we'll certainly make some adjustments for Saturday uh, to make sure that we are ready to roll going forward. I mean, again, it's more how you finish than how you start, but when you only play 60 minutes, it should be how you start at the middle and how you finish. And again, another final question for me, uh, not again for UMass, had a lot of problems early when you were cutting your shots over the opposite corner, and then you guys kind of went away from that. Was there anything that you were seeing on him with goaltending wise? No, I mean, listen, he's a, he's a, he's a good goalie. He had 13 saves today, I believe. And um, <laughs> he was, uh, I, I thought a couple of times we shot it almost right into his stick, stick side high, you know, and then we started to mix it up a little bit. And uh, and have a little a little bit of better luck, you know, scoring six in the second half um, versus four in the first half, but it just wasn't enough, right? I mean, he uh, he, he had 13 saves, and uh, some of those, you know, we, we would like to convert three of those uh, saves into goals, and now all of a sudden we're at 13, and it, it changes some things up, and we got to you know we got to do a better job on the wings of faceoffs, but again, those large chunks of time certainly we're recycling some guys, and we need to uh, we need need to do a better job of that. Coach, following today's game, you got Towson on Saturday. What do you need to do to make adjustments for? Yeah, I mean, I think we 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 got we got to sit we got to sit in this one a little bit. I think that's part of it. I mean, a lot of some people will say just you know, burn the film or or rip the page out of the book and turn the turn the page. Uh, I I, will, I would rather just sit in this one for for a day or two and 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 let's see how that feels um, and understand that it's not comfortable and uh, and then let's get back at it. Uh, we do have a short turnaround. Towson's a very talented team. Uh, they beat a talented Loyola team a couple of days ago, and uh, they'll be on their way up on Friday or Saturday, and uh, and we'll have our hands full with that one. It'll be another great, great, uh, a great opportunity for us to go out and play against a quality team. Coach, do should we expect to see Sam Lefty in act in game action this upcoming Saturday? Yeah. I mean, listen, I, Sam has, has done a good job in practice. There's some other guys out there that we are, uh, that we're leaning on right now. Um, you know, we, we got a lot, a lot of good players and, and sometimes, you know, you, you get one midfield into the flow. If they're not tired, you go back with them. So sometimes you never get to some of those other guys, whether it be Sam or one week, you know, Bryce told me or whatever it may be. And, and so you get, you know, Bryce told me, you, know, you got three goals in the last two games 
he's a lefty, Sam's a lefty. So at times, you know, there's only a certain amount of people that you could play and you want to stay, you know, with that hot hand a little bit, especially after some long, long possessions uh, on defense, some of those guys get fresh and you go back to the guys that are in the flow. So uh, Sam's playing well and, and hopefully we'll see him soon. If there are no more questions, that concludes today's post-game press conference. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Coach Tierney, thank you. Thank you.